hello everyone and welcome to the channel in this video i am going to share with you a new project which is quite interesting that revolves around fine-tuning applications for open ai's gpt models that's correct strawberry Fi is a fine-tuning application for gpt models the main objective of this project is to provide an easy to use interface for creating custom models tailored to specific needs the goal is to enable users to fine-tune gpt models with their own data, resulting in models that perform better on their unique tasks. There are a lot of other features around it. It is open source. It is ready for you to fine tune your own agentic O1 style models. And O1 is a model which has just been released by OpenAI. So if you want to fine tune the existing, let's say GPT-40 mini on your own data, in order to get the agentic and reflective features of O1, then you can get out of it. You know that everyone is talking about um, these GPT O1 models, especially around their reflection or chain of thought or reasoning capabilities. And that is what this project is going to do. So Strawberryfy uses reflective agentic based systems to enable models to self-correct and improve their reasoning. Primarily, it fine-tunes GPT-4.0 in much the same open AI did with O1. Similarly, uh, we can't say it for certain, but seems like it. It is compatible with GPT-4.0 mini and GPT-4.0. You can start tuning at fraction of the cost with no rate limits, but still there will be a cost. And in order to run this project, you would need the API key from OpenAI, which you can grab from platform.openai.com. Now, that is a paid option and as we are just talking about gpt model so there is no question of any local stuff here it is uh, as i said compatible with gpt4 o mini and that is why the cost is lesser than if you use the gpt4 o1 model it is um, available at the moment which you can get it from github repo and i will drop the link to it in video description also, as per the creator of this report, is 95% cheaper than the latest models with no boundaries. And also, there is no throttling. But I would highly, highly um, recommend you to do your own due diligence. Make sure that if you are using the API, you set some budget so that you don't get any root surprises when it comes to cost. Okay, before I show you how to install and use it, let me give a huge shout out to Master Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you are looking to rent a GPU on good prices, I will drop the link to their website in video description. Plus, I am also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on range of G uh, GPUs. Okay, so that said and done, let's try to get it installed locally and then we will see how it works. Okay, so before I start the installation, another thing is that this has been created mainly with Node.js. So you would need to have NPM and Node installed and you can simply do this with NVM. If you don't know what that is, please search my channel. I already have done a very simple, easy to use video. Also, it uses white React, Tailwind CSS and OpenAI's API as I mentioned earlier. Okay, so let me take you to my terminal where I'm running this Ubuntu 22.04. Plus, I have this GPU card NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM courtesy mass compute. As we will be using API based model, so you really don't need any um, GPU for this video. You can simply use it with the CPU. So, let me create a Conda environment, not this one. Okay, maybe I'll just quickly create the environment first, then we will get clone this so that it just keeps everything separate. So you see that I'm just creating a Conda environment, which is a virtual environment with Python 3.11 and the name is ST. Let's wait for it to get activated. The environment is created. Let's get clone the repo and I will drop the link in video description to it and we have CD into it. Now, as I mentioned, you would need a node installed. So let me quickly show you my node version and you should have NPM installed and I have the recent versions of it installed. Now, in order to install all the dependencies, let's run this NPM I command and then let's wait for it to finish. It is going to take a bit of a time. Not that much though. And that is all done. And now let's run it. 
with npm run dev and you can see that now the application is running at our local system on port 8080 so let me access it and there you go the project is launched this is a strawberry 51 let me put my api key here and save it as i mentioned earlier if you don't have it go to platform.openea.com and you would need to get an api key from there that is a paid option so i have entered my key and saved it and by the way when you paste your key it is visible so make sure that if you are sharing the screen you don't share that key okay so that is all done now as i said it is simply a fine tuning one fine tuning means that you take your own data and then you train the pre-trained model on that data so that the model would know more about your own data it will have more context around it so that is the whole purpose of fine tuning now there are various techniques of fine tuning i'm not going to go into the details of that fine tuning in this one if you're interested i have covered it in various videos so please search the channel in order to use it all you need to do is to just click on new job from new job you can upload your own data file it requires the data file into in a json l format which is a json entries and i will quickly show you let's click on upload file it says that this is our uh, file here you could um, i'm not sure why it is not letting me upload because when i click here i thought it will give me some option but it doesn't do anything so what i'm going to do i'm going to go here on my uh, local system this is a json file which i have just randomly created with few of the json l entries you see every line is in the different line and all the entries are in json format which is a javascript object object notation and i'm just going to paste it here and then once that's done you see that it says this so only json l format is accepted and minimum 10 example required i have given it around 30 plus and once I click on that continue button, it is asking me to select the model. When I do the drop down, you see GPT-4, GPT-4 or mini. I'm just going to select the mini, click on continue. And then it is asking me to configure the job. I can just name your model, my model and then learning rate. I'll just keep everything as is. I'm just going to go it with one. Don't want to spend more money than required and then click on start job. It is creating the job. And then I believe if I go to job status, there is our job. You can refresh. It is validating the file and I'm sure it is uploading it to uh, OpenAI. If I go there, it is running. You can click on view details. It is telling you what are the job details here. Okay, I thought it is my key, but no, it's not a key. It is just simply, okay. So you see, it is. it has given me some error. It says the job failed due to invalid training file, unexpected file format. Okay, so because you know it's a simple JSON file, it requires in this prompt completion pairs, but I'm not going to spend the time here. Wait, so this is the one it failed. And then you can, once your model is ready, you can do the testing here. You can provide more data. And then here from you, you can just select more. And then you can just simply enter your prompt and test your model whatever the model is whatever data you have provided there you go so you can chat with it here like this this is a rendered this is a raw with the api call so yeah so that's it um okay thankfully the api key is not being shown here you can also go with dark mode cool remove api key that is done so that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it let me know what you think about this if you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you are already subscribed, please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thank you for watching.